Welcome back to this Airbnb UI series with React Native. So up until now, we've completed our scroll view and our tab bar. We've also got our header ready. All that we're left with is to add these tags to our header and animate the header so that when we scroll, the tags disappear with the header reducing in size. And when we scroll back up, the tags appear again. So in this video, we'll be finishing this up. So let's begin. So let's start by creating the tags that come in the header. Since I've noticed most animation issues are coming with the Android app, I decided to complete the animation on my Android simulator. However, obviously it'll work on iOS as well. So to animate any view, we need to first import animated from React Native. So at the top here, below dimensions, let's import animated. Then inside our header, below the view that holds the icon in the text input, let's put in our animated view. So animated.view. Inside that we'll put in a regular view and then a text which has the tag name. So let's call the first one guests. As you can see we have guests there. Let's style this now. So we wanted to have a minimum height of 20 and a minimum width of 40. So that if there are more characters it increases in size automatically. We want to give it a padding of 5, a background color of white, a border color of our favorite gray, a border width of 0 0.2 and a border radius of 2. Let's also style the text inside. So the style is equal to, let's give it a font weight of 700 and a font size of 10. Let's duplicate this to get two of them. And as we can see, we're getting them one below another. So in the animated view parent, Let's add some styles. Let's give it a flex direction of row. And just to make sure that the border is very clear to you, I'm just gonna make this one. And there you can see our borders are coming up nicely with our tags. Let's change the second one to dates. Let's give the animated view a margin horizontal of 20. So that's spaced from the sides. And we'll give it a position of relative so that it's relative to its parent container and then we'll give it a top position of 10. So as you can see, it's nicely placed over here and we just want to space these two out from each other. So let's give the top one a margin right of five. So there we have our tags ready. Like always, we'll move this tag out into its own component so that we don't have to duplicate the code. So I'm just going to copy this top tag. And here in our components explore folder, I'm going to create a new file called tag.js. As always, import some boilerplate code, which basically displays the class name and call this one tag. Get rid of this view and paste that view in. Save that out. Come back to our explore tab and let's import tag here at the top. So we'll say import tag from components slash explore slash tag. Now come down here where we had created those two tags. Let's get rid of both these views and let's pass in tag. So as you can see, we've only got one tag here, which is guests. If we create another tag here, we have another guests. So in this, let's pass in a prop called name. Let's call the first one guests and the second one dates. Coming inside our tag component, we're gonna extract this prop by using this dot props dot name. And as we can see, we have both our tags available again and the code just looks a lot neater. So now comes the most challenging part, which is the animation of the header. What we want is we want to link all our animations to our scroll view. So when the user scrolls, we want to extract that scroll and animate everything according to the distance scrolled and the direction scrolled. So here in the scroll view, we'll use the on scroll property. And in that, we'll use animated.event to map the scroll onto a particular animated value. So inside this, we'll have an array in which we'll get the native event. We'll go to the content offset, extract the Y value and store into a property called this.scrollY. So all we're doing is we're extracting the scroll, putting it into a scroll Y property. And we're only interested in the vertical scroll. That's why we've extracted only the Y value. Now let's create this scroll Y property here. So in our component will mount, we'll say this dot scroll Y is equal to animated dot value and start by giving it an initial value of zero. Now, like I said, we have a start header height 
Now when we scroll, we want the header height to decrease. So we want the end header height as well. So we'll say this dot end header height is equal to 50. And for Android devices, we'll say this dot end header height is equal to 70 plus status bar dot current height. Next, the first thing that we want to animate is the header height. So let's create a property called this dot animated header height is equal to and we'll interpolate on the scroll y value. So we'll say this dot scroll y dot interpolate rounded brackets followed by curly brackets inside which we need to have an input range which will be from 0 to 50. So when the user scrolls from a position of 0 to 50 to the top, we want the output range to be at the starting, the start header height, and at the end of the scroll, we want it to reach the end header height. That is, when the view starts, the header will appear like this, but as we scroll up and scroll a distance of 50, the header height will reach a height of 50 or the end header height. And we'll also put another property here called extrapolate equal to clamp. This will make sure there's no extrapolation done. Once it reaches its end header height, it stops there. So we've created this, but we need to plug this in into our header. So come down here. As of now, our header is a normal view. We need to change this to an animated view. And similarly, we need to change the closing tag to an animated view as well. Next, we already have the header height hard coded as this dot start header height. Let's change this to this dot animated header height and let's save that out. So if you try this now, it won't work because I made a very silly mistake up here. This should have been a new animated dot value. Now, if we test this, we should see the height of the header reducing as we scroll. So there we're scrolling and we're seeing the height of the header reducing. It only goes till the value that we had set over here and then it stops. As you scroll back down, we see the header comes back down. So now we want to animate the opacity of these tags and their position with reference to the header height. So what we'll do here is we'll say this dot animated opacity is equal to this dot animated header height dot interpolate. Since we want it to be in reference with the header height, again, we'll have an input range. In this case, the input range will be this dot end header height that is from 50 to this dot start header height, which is 100 or this value for Android devices. Then we'll have an output range, which will be zero when the header is at its end height and will be one when it's at its start height. Again, let's just put extrapolate equal to clamp. Now let's plug this opacity in here to our tags. So in the animated view that holds the tags, let's put in an opacity property and set it to this dot animated opacity. So now if we scroll this, we see that the opacity nicely decreases as we scroll up. We also want the tags to be moving when we scroll. So for that, let's create another property here by duplicating this and naming it animated tag top for the top position of the tag. The input range will remain the same, but the output range will change to minus 30 and the start value will be 10. So currently it's 10. As we scroll up, it'll move to a minus 30 position and with the animated opacity, it'll fade out. So let's save this and plug this in. Let's change this top value to this dot animated tag top. And if you test this out, you'll see that the tag nicely moves up and out of the view. And as we swipe down, it comes back down. So there we've completed the header animation as well of our Airbnb UI app. I hope you guys try this out and please like, share and subscribe. And thank you as always for watching.